beautiful souls, it's Jessie here and guys, thank you so much for joining me today. But guys, today's video is going to be on 5 things that only spiritual people go through. Now, before I dive into that video, I just want to say my name is Jessie and welcome if you're new here. If you are new, I would love to have you back. I do a lot of videos on different spiritual matters and I also do every Sunday uh, angel card reading. So if this applies to you, then hit the subscribe button. I don't know where it is at this moment, but just hit it. I would love to have you as a new subscriber here. Having said that, let's dive into that video. waste a lot of time today I just want to make a really quick and fun video for all of you who are kind of like a spiritual uh, person and are going through some stuff I just want to name a couple of things that really really applies to only spiritual people and the first thing that we probably <laughs> all recognize when we are spiritual is the awakening period that period when suddenly something hits you you awaken you're becoming aware that there is more to this world that there are so many uh, dimension into what we thought was everything and then we realize okay it's not it's not there is a deeper deeper and then another deeper level and you keep going and going and going and you're like what the heck there's so many things so many layers to the layers to the layers and it is a pretty exciting thing but also as we all know that awakening period can be really really tough it actually uh, wants you to purge everything negative, everything that you've learned, every pattern, every 3D pattern that you've learned and that you've become so familiar with. It's asking you to let go of everything that you know, uh, thought was everything. That is the awakening period. So if you guys are familiar with this uh, period, if you guys have been through this or are still going through this, um, hit that like button because I really, really know that this just sounds so familiar to so many. That brings me actually to that second thing that only spiritual people go through and that is that rapid growth. That rapid growth because you have that awakening, because the universe is like shit, shook you. And it's like, okay, listen up girl, listen up guy. There's more going on and you need to grow. You need to step up your game. You need to be there. You need to become that better version of yourself. And that requires that growth. Suddenly, your, your body, your, your everything is asking you to grow 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 and pushing forward moving forward there is nothing nothing actually that wants to keep you or you realizing that there is so much maybe that wants to keep you behind but you're not willing to stay there you are more than willing at this moment to move forward to make that grow and this is an amazing thing that happens to spiritual people that that accelerated growth that is so so awesome so that is the second thing that I want to point out that spiritual people go through third thing that kind of like happens to spiritual people is the layers and the layers that I'm talking about but in your senses so so many people I, I heard this like a lot a lot because I talked to so so many clients but also friends and family that have become spiritual is suddenly they're realizing that their senses just don't have like one layer. You suddenly realize that you can hear, hear with your mind, hear with your energy. It's, and it might seem like super, super silly to those who don't have any experience in this, but hearing with your mind, just, just feeling emotions, just translating energy, everything, everything becomes so, so, nine dimensional that is your your senses become one by one nine dimensional it's the best way that i can describe it you start you suddenly realize that you have layers so not only your life have layers not only just the world with all the energy forces that it has has those dimensions but also you as a person with all those gifts and you suddenly start developing your gifts you suddenly maybe start to see things, uh, hear things that you haven't heard before, you couldn't hear before. Those are the things that will happen to you. 
and that actually brings me to my tip I think it's a tip number four or the things number four is that magical things will happen to you because of this spirituality you certainly are letting go of all the old patterns all egoistic ego-minded patterns and what that does to you guys it is so magical that is something that I truly love seeing in this transformation process is when people let go of all their judgment because we are as humans so so quick to judge and to say and to think about what other people are doing and then suddenly you realize hey what the heck we're just living in a 3d so why am I judging it's it's just silly that we're judging people for just what they have or how they look or what they think that is so stupid you you suddenly realize that it's so much more than about those 3d things you realize as a human you want the material things you want to uh, experience all of those abundance but then again you get that fifth layer <laughs> into it and you have this sense like it's going to be okay when I do this when I let go of everything when I let go of all my judgment just living my life just finding that peace then you you will realize that everything comes in place you feel happy so that is one of the most valuable things that I can add as a spiritual person just realizing that you have found that nine dimensional layer in this 3D world. You're letting go of everything and that is okay. The last thing that I want to say that spiritual people go through and I do find this, this is like one of my favorite things that ever happened to me and still happens to me each and every day and that is the connection that I make on a soul level with people and I can remember when I was young you were I was like so superficial I, okay I don't want to exaggerate but okay maybe I really was superficial as just human we we are I can't deny that I can make it better I can make it more beautiful we just are as we are so judgmental but then I started to make connection on a soul level because your senses, your gifts are so, so growing and developing and you can feel people on that soul level. And you realize that that is where you need to connect with people. That is something that really, really happens to people who are spiritual. Now with that, I want to leave you today and I do want to say one more thing before I end this video and that is, you know, I'm talking about judging, putting people into boxes as being spiritual and non-spiritual is another way of judging. So. I'm saying in this video, let go of that and just go with the process. If you feel like you've been going through this process, having mentioned yourself as a spiritual person or not, leave that in the middle and just feel what you're feeling and going with that flow. That is how we stop putting people in boxes or stop being judgmental. Just accept one another as we are, okay? So with that, I am going to leave you today after what I've just said and I'm going to wish you a really really beautiful week and I hope to see you in my next video until then